In this video we're going to look at nets. A net is a two-dimensional shape which folds to make a three-dimensional shape. As you can see here, this would be the net of a cube. This would be the base. These four sides here, here, here and here would be the, the this would be the back, the front, the right hand side and the left hand side and this side would fold over to be the lid. Sometimes if you look at a net sometimes they have these extra flaps put on them and those would just be for if you were going to print it and then stick it and make it um, turn it into the 3D shape these flaps are, are useful for sticking it together. Okay, So this is the net for a cube obviously you've got your six squares which fold together to make your cube and they're all in the right position. Okay let's have a look at the net now for a cuboid. Here we've got a cuboid and as you can see this would be the net. This would be the base then the two sides that would then be the front and the back and that would be the lid folding over the top. This is then the net for a square base pyramid. You've got your square base and you've got your four triangles that fold up together uh, to make the pyramid. Uh, this one has got the flaps on it for sticking it. But this is then the net for a square base pyramid. It's your square and then your four triangles. Next, a triangular prism. So a triangular prism obviously has got a triangle at the front and the back and then has got three rectangles. As you can see here, that rectangle would be the base. Then these two are the triangles that fold up. And these two... Um, rectangles would fold up to be either side of the triangular uh, prism. Next, a cone. A cone um, consists of a curved uh, surface and then a circle at the bottom. As you can see here, here's the circle for the bottom and this would then fold around to then be the curved surface of the cone. So this is the net for a cone. Next, a cylinder. Well, a cylinder, a cylinder consists of a curved surface and that's just a rectangle which folds around and then you've got the circle for the top and the circle for the bottom. So that's the net for a cylinder. Okay, let's have a look at now some typical exam questions. So here's an exam question. You've got a cube, a cylinder, a square base pyramid and a triangular prism. And it says here's the net for one of the shapes A, B, C or D. It says which shape? We clearly can see this is a square base pyramid. You've got your square base and then you've got your four triangles which would fold up. <clears throat> so that then would obviously be C uh, because C then is the square base pyramid. You can clearly rule some of them out. You can rule out the cylinder because the cylinder's got a circle and this net doesn't have a circle. Uh, you can rule out the cube because the cube's got six squares. This clearly doesn't. And you can rule out the triangular pr uh, prism because a triangular prism would have two, uh, two triangles and three rectangles. And as you can see, this has got the square and the four triangles needed for a square base pyramid. Okay, next. It says the diagram shows the net of a solid. It says name the solid. Well, as you can see, it's going to be a cube. It's got six squares which would fold around. So you'd have your uh, front and back and then you'd have your four sides. So then that is a cube. Okay, let's have a look at another exam question. It says these are the nets for two solids. You can see this one, net A, and this one, net B. It says name the solids. Well, net A, you can see it has got six uh, rectangles. That means it's going to be a cuboid. You can see that's the base, the two sides, the front, the back, and then that's the top. So that is a cuboid. And net B, well, that's another square base pyramid. You've got your square and your four triangles which fold up. So that would be a square based pyramid. And let's then have a look at our last exam question. This time it says, on a centimeter grid, complete a net of a cuboid. So here you can see the base and you can see the side. Well, let's first, and then you got another side as well. Let's complete, if we've got the right hand side to be this rectangle, that means the left hand side would be, have to be exactly the same. So this right hand side is two centimeters across and three centimeters long. So we're gonna go two centimeters across and three centimeters down. And as you can see, this side then would be the same as that side. So if this is the base, this would fold up to be the left hand side and this would fold up to be the right hand side. Now this is the back of the cuboid and that would fold up. So we now need to do the front of the cuboid. So the front of the cuboid would have to look the same. So it's one, two, three, four, five across and two. So we're gonna do exactly the same. Try using a ruler in your maths exam for this. I just have to do it freehand. So if that's the back, then that would be the front and it would fold up to be exactly the same height. Finally, we need the lid. Well, the lid's going to be the same as the base, so or the top's going to be the same as the base. So the base is one, two, three, four, five across, five across. So didn't mean to do that. And it is three uh, wide. So we just need to do exactly the same. So three wide, five across. Try using a ruler for this, and then that would be your cuboid. Let's just check. That's the base. 
that's the lid. That's the front, that's the back, that's the left hand side, that's the right hand side. So then that is the, uh, the cuboid completed, the net forward.